Okay, so this is uh, my toolbox. Um, it's a copy of the toolbox I made when I was an apprentice. Um, back then, um, each apprentice had to make his own toolbox, step ladders, carpenter stool. Um, I've still got my step ladders, but um, my toolbox, well, I don't know what happened to that. Uh, pretty much soon after I finished my apprenticeship, I went out on site, uh, self-employed, and uh, a lot of the other chippies all had like these um, injection moulded toolboxes, which I thought were really cool at the time. So I went and bought myself one of those, and um, my toolbox ended up in the back of the shed somewhere. So here we are. Um, what am I? 55 now, and uh, I've more or less come full circle. I decided to make myself another toolbox, um, which as I say, is not quite a replica of the original one, but the uh, the basic idea and the layout is uh, very similar. Um, the toolbox itself is um, 31 inches wide, um, which is 79 centimetres. Uh, it's 8 inches deep, which is 20 centimetres. And uh, 18 and a half inches high, which is 47 centimetres. Um, I more or less built this one around the uh, handsaw um, inside. Uh, the most popular handsaw um, which you can pick up pretty much anywhere uh, to replace is the uh, Irwin. Um, it's 20 inches long or uh, 50 centimetres. So let's open it up. So there we are. In the lid, I've got, um, as I said, my hand saw. I've got my dad's old coping saw. Combination square. There's a pry bar there. And a roof and square. And they all sit snugly in the lid. Um, on the drawer, I've mounted Stanley Hacksaw and Stanley Junior Hacksaw. And you really need to uh, pay a bit of attention when you're mounting bits and bobs in your toolbox that uh, you pay attention to the, the width of the tools. Otherwise, when you try and shut your toolbox, it won't shut. And this one is literally so critical that if I pop the saw off and it just hangs over the uh, draw knob, the box won't shut. So be careful if you're gonna make a similar box. Um, so in the back of the box, I've got my Stanley hand planes. I've got a diamond sharpened stone. Well, it's not actually a stone, it's a like a, um, like, like, I don't know if it's titanium or, but it's impregnated with diamonds uh, on a plastic uh, base uh, inside that little wooden box there. Um, chisels through the back, a swing hammer. There's another one of those uh, diamond coated stone things there, small combination square small pry bar and then over here I've got glue, pencils, cork gun or mastic gun whichever you like to call it, a couple of uh, adjustable spanners and then in the drawer I keep my block plane, shoulder plane, there's a small container there with an oily rag to wipe things down with a few other little bits and bobs in this side plus um, mastic tools allen keys filler etc so as I say this isn't uh, a replica of my original toolbox because it's probably better than the one that I made 40 odd years ago um, 
but there we are. The original one was more of a, uh, as I say, an apprentice piece where um, you were taught to do dovetail joints, um, box joints, etc. This one is just basically glued and pinned together. Um, what else really? You know, what else to say about it? It's uh, the reason I think I like these toolboxes over the um, the other wooden toolboxes I've seen on YouTube is that you can shut the lid and uh, helpful hands don't come along and uh, pick up one of your chisels and try and prise the lid off of a paint tin or or something like that. So there we are, that's my toolbox. Hope you enjoyed it.